last evening, we were advised at around 8 o'clock p.m. of a presumptive case of coronavirus. By now, everyone in the borough of Fort Lee is aware that a resident here in the borough has tested positive. One year ago today, on March 4th, 2020, our lives changed, and they changed permanently. Now, I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of the way our community has performed, the initiatives and programs that we've put into place over the course of the last year. As of three weeks ago, we presumed that we were going to have to deal with a positive case. So this task force has been assembled for quite some time. I can't begin to tell you how many folks that I barely knew that were volunteers and employees here that are now our heroes, that have just risen to the occasion. We're still a model community on battling COVID. During the past year, I often said that there's no manual on how to respond to a global health crisis, but I must tell you, I'm so proud the way Fort Lee has behaved. Fort Lee hit the ground running and we soon became a role model for other communities on how to address COVID-19 and to help stop the spread. Fort Lee Call Center, how may I help you? We then soon set up a call center and a hotline. We also set up a Fort Lee Friends call line to allow residents to make a phone call and speak to a fellow resident that was going through the same experience. We had multiple town-wide teleconferences where thousands of Fort Lee residents would call in, ask their questions, and various representatives of the borough, from the police chief to the health officer to the OEM director to me and members of the council will respond to their questions. As additional information comes available to me, I plan on doing these videos. We produce multiple videos to keep our residents informed throughout the crisis. We have 14 confirmed cases. And as early as May, Fort Lee began to conduct its own testing of all Fort Lee residents. We've tested at approximately 18 separate high rises. We tested over a period of three and a half weeks and set up our own mobile testing unit. And at the end of the day, we tested over 4,000 Fort Lee residents. We made sure that all of our first responders had the proper PPE to make sure that they were protected while they were risking their lives to keep us safe. Our first responders have gone above and beyond the call of duty. They organized drive-bys wishing over 200 children a happy birthday so that we made sure that those kids knew that the community didn't forget about their special day. So very spur of the moment, we decided to have a, not a parade, a Memorial Day drive-by. Our challenge was always to keep spirits up. We had a drive-by Memorial Day parade. Well, I guess. We had summer concerts and movies, but made sure everybody socially distanced. 10, nine, eight, we even had a virtual tree lighting and parade, which was a fantastic success. When our library was shut down, the library offered virtual programming and door side service. And of course, our Fort Lee Senior Citizen Center. It provided meals during the pandemic, prepared, delivered, and handed out more than 3,000 meals, including Thanksgiving dinner and distributed more than a thousand bags of non-perishable groceries. It comes as absolutely no surprise to me that Fort Lee is rising to the occasion. Local businesses and residences opened up their doors and their hearts to help feed frontline workers in the height of the pandemic. Special shout out to the group Feed the Frontline, which is a group of former Fort Lee football players who united to set up a GoFundMe page that their initial goal was to raise $5,000 and they raised in excess of $50,000. And amid this pandemic, and in preparation for the flu season, Fort Lee set up a drive-by flu clinic where we vaccinated almost 1,000 Fort Lee residents. I'm here at the Fort Lee Community Center. We are all set up. As a result of the efforts of our health department, we've been approved as a COVID vaccine distribution site, which is an initiative that took incredible resource and effort. And since then, we've received several hundred shots that we have since administered into the arms of Fort Lee residents. We continue to lobby for more vaccinations. We're hopeful to get them in the future. We set up a vaccine call center for those folks that don't have a computer or an email address, or they're not familiar with working with a computer to make sure that they're either registered on the state portal or they make it to the Fort Lee list so that when we get vaccines, we can make sure that they're vaccinated. Fort Lee, that was just a sampling as to what's gone on in our community over the course of the last year. 
There are a lot of folks that have lost their lives to COVID-19 that are Fort Lee residents. And I'm going to ask everybody to keep those folks and their families in your thoughts and your prayers. But I need every Fort Lee resident to know that you're living in a special place. You're living in a community where you are loved and your safety and your well-being and your welfare is top priority. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Now, there are better days ahead. We're now in the middle of the vaccination process and we're hopeful in a few months we're going to restore normalcy. But it's important that we remain vigilant here in Fort Lee and wear your mask and socially distance. And know that within a few months, God willing, we're going to reach some normalcy and be able to restore our lives. But know this, since that first case back in March 4 of 2020, your community, your volunteers, your emergency service agencies, your departments and employees here in Fort Lee have worked tirelessly to keep you safe. Thank you very much for watching.